She has spent years in the spotlight as a chart-topping country singer, as well as an actress on shows like the hit series One Tree Hill. Yet despite all of her career highs, Jana Kramer was still battling some deep personal lows. In a doctor's exclusive, Jana opened up about how she and her husband overcame multiple devastating miscarriages. This is her story. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a mom. So two years ago when we had our daughter Jolie, the second I had her, I just was like, she's everything, she's my absolute world. But conceiving wasn't the easiest for us. We did IVF and they ended up in miscarriage. So we were really nervous about continuing, but when Jolie was almost two years old, we started to try again. And a few months later, we got pregnant. But then at my 10 week check, the heartbeat was no longer there. I wanted to make a video. I debated even saying anything. But I think that's the problem with miscarriage because it's not talked about, but instead you're left alone. Once we kind of grieved the loss of that baby, we decided to give IVF a chance. If I'm giving myself shots in the stomach, I'm bruising up a little bit. So after the month of injections and medications, we had the procedure to implant our embryo. It's implantation day. Well, just got the official call that it didn't work. <sighs> Sucks. That was then our fifth miscarriage in the last three years. And I just didn't want to talk to anybody and just cried out. For me at that moment, I needed to start reflecting of what the next step is. I was starting to focus really hard on my career, and then the month later was when I got pregnant. I was like, oh, I don't want to get excited because this usually doesn't happen. I was scared that I was going to lose it. When I had my 16-week ultrasound, I started crying, and then I was like, okay, like I'm, I'm really excited. Please welcome Jana Kramer to the show. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. happy that this journey is underway. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm so, um, I'm like, I keep like knocking on everything because it's like, it's still scary. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still that chance, but I mean, luckily everything right now is going well. You're feeling so. good? Yeah, I'm, I'm still nauseous, but I'm, I've been taking a medication for that at night called Bonjesta that's been helping me. And um, I just, I'm trying just to stay positive. You've been so open and so transparent with the journey to get to this point. Yeah. Why did you put that all out there? I know other women have felt this and have gone through this pain, so I wanted to be able to share that I'm feeling it too and we're not alone, so. Yeah, and I think, yeah, thanks. It's hard though. It, it, yeah. is, it is so hard. Especially with like the videos. I was like, honey, is this like too much? But that was, he's like, no, those, those were raw emotions. People have felt that too. So mm -hmm. you and should and share it. And it's comforting. It. I mean, 10 to 15% of pregnancies end in miscarriage. Mm -hmm. And so to bring it out into the open, you're right. Women don't talk about it. And it's something that really people suffer in silence. So for someone like you to share your story and make other people feel comfortable right. sharing their story. It's such a huge service you Thanks. did, so thank you. I, no, I, 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 I'm like, I'm grateful that the women have like. And just the storyline that you had been through IVF yeah. and it did not work, mm -hmm. but you had your first child naturally and now this, this child was conceived naturally.